about my money though It's funny bro, let's see if it's funny when me and Mac Snatch your hoe, cash get close Drop a banger, pick a foe She wants some more, I told her no and put her out the door Cause the flow, colder than the wind What's good Mo Mafia, it's your girl Mo And as y'all can tell by the title I'm back with another Moo and y'all, before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping moo bangers, and make sure y'all check out the entire game. So y'all, today we have some salmon and shrimp spaghetti squash and a good old boys and cheese cheese sauce and a cold water. Y'all already know how I do it. Now y'all, if y'all have ever seen the TikTok spaghetti, y'all know they make it with like whatever meat, spaghetti squash, roasted in the oven, and then, you know, whatever protein. Usually it's ground beef or turkey or chicken, but I switched up the tempo today. I went crazy today. So I was watching somebody do they little spaghetti squash, and they said it was easier to do the squash in the rings Oh, she snapped. She motherfucking snapped. Y'all. Now, the way that's falling apart, that's just beautiful. Y'all, look at that. That came right out. No, no, no. Not hard at all. Not hard at fucking all. But y'all, today, I'm going to be touching on something, you know, that I feel is important. Uh, you know, just, you know, just chop it up with y'all, y'all. I think I'm going to start a new segment called, um, Big Back Motivational Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To tap in with my people who are a little heavier, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm on this journey and I'm just trying to be a better me all around, get healthier, eat healthier. And why not, you know what I'm saying, give y'all a chance to chime in with that part of who I am. You feel me? So, y'all, we're going to say this prayer. And then I'm going to just give y'all some encouraging words, y'all. Because, I don't know, it's just been on my heart lately to be more, more encouraging. I know I encourage a lot of y'all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not selling myself short or saying I don't do that already. But it's just... You know, I be wanting to really tap in with y'all. This is about to be good. <laughs> I can tell y'all that right now. All right. We can leave that one just for a little, little, little whatever. That's going to be. Y'all ain't bring nothing in after. All right. We got our spaghetti squash. That turned out perfect. We're going to say this prayer, y'all, and then we're going to get straight into it. God is good, God is great, and we thank him for this food. We gonna thank him in the morning, noon, and night. Cause God, God, God is dynamite. I'm in, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm in, ch -ch 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 -ch. game. Now y'all, I wanna touch on a few things while I'm eating, and then we'll get to Big Bag Motivational Mondays, right? On my last video, there was a lot of, com like a lot of, a lot of positive comments. All the prayers in the comments. I just want to say thank y'all for being positive and just, you know, recognizing when, you know, you can do something positive. Like, coming to these platforms ain't always all rainbows and, you know, you know what I'm saying? It ain't always, it ain't always 100% what we think it's going to be. You feel me? It ain't always a positive place. For some people. Some people come on here just to troll people. Some people come on here to really tap in with creators. You know, it just depends. And I just want to thank those who's in the comments who did pray for me and gave me those encouraging words because I really do appreciate y'all for real. Um, secondly, for some reason, some of y'all think, hold on, let's get our cheese sauce poured. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Like what? Last video, somebody said something about me licking the cup. It's mine. Period, Peach. Period. 
Be for fucking real. But anyway. Y'all, let's get a bite in. Man, that salmon is cooked to them salmon bites and that shrimp. Hold on. Cook to perfection, baby. I want this bite right here. Mm-hmm. That looks so good. Here, y'all. Take a bite. Mm. Salmon. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. And you don't miss the noodles. You don't miss noodles. You don't miss. You like, fuck that. This is bomb. You feel me? Look at that. Mm. I don't think we don't need no more squash, but it's looking like we are. That squash just come right out so easy. I cooked it perfect, the exact amount of time it needed to be cooked. Baby, I did that. I ain't wasting no vegetable. Huh, fuck that. And I seen another thing, y'all. I just, Sometimes the comments just be doing too much, y'all. I seen somebody say, Mo, that's too much food. Y'all, what I put in front of y'all, I don't always eat all of it. I, I come back to it. And if I do eat it all, let me worry about how many calories I'm consuming, okay? I'm counting my shit. I got my shit. I'm good. Don't you see the weight falling off? Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. Sometimes y'all just be frustrating me with that shit, man. You got to understand, when I when somebody on a, on a health journey, they don't want to hear all that. Huh? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Like you shut the fuck up sometimes. But anyway, y'all. Uh, I really do want to talk to those of y'all who, you know, may be on a health journey or trying to lose weight or maybe you it ain't it just ain't clicked for you yet maybe you still doing whatever you've been doing to be to be big maybe you don't want to change maybe you do god damn it i'm i'm talking to you if you want to receive the message here it is mm. that is so good Don't let other people and outside influences determine what your journey should look like, how long it should take. None of that. None of the factors that have to do with you and your journey 
should be dictated by somebody who 12 fucking pounds. <laughs> okay? That's, that's number one. Stop letting people who can't relate tell you what you need to do. Go, go, go get information and advice from somebody who may have been big before. Here you are struggling because you're trying to go off with the next motherfucker say, go see a professional if that's the case. And if you ain't right, if you ain't got no big friends or no big, nobody big to look up to, goddamn it, you can look up to me. Because I'm here right now in the flesh dealing with the shit. Okay? So, all in all, y'all, just be careful who you get advice from. Because some people really don't have good intentions. You know what I'm saying? For real. Secondly, stop tearing yourself down. When it's your... When, get, 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 listen. Think we are conditioned... To do everything off time. What time we go to work. What time we wake up. What time we go to bed. When the sun rises. When the, when the moon comes up. When the sun falls. Everything in our life is dictated off time. When people think you should get married. How long you should talk to somebody. Before you all go together. What age you should have kids. Everything is dictated off time y'all. And, and I, I came to a point in my life. When I was like. Actually, I came across an Instagram post. And it made a lot of sense. My, my year is not going to be your year. What I complete and accomplish in one year is not going to be what you compete, complete and accomplish in a year. So stop basing your success or how far you should be with something off somebody else's time. Message. You feel me? And it goes back to my Big Back Monday motivation. If you're on a journey, take your, your time, not everybody else's time. Do the shit at a pace you're comfortable at. Stop letting other outside influences and what other people say dictate, oh, I got to have this much weight off by this many months. No. That's not how the shit supposed to go. You do shit at your, at your pace and at your comfortability and boom. Next thing you know, when it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Time don't stop for nobody, but guess what? It don't fast forward for nobody either. So with that being said, what somebody else's time frame may look like may not be what yours is. Cool. This shit was good as hell though. And one last point, y'all. Don't beat yourself up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. There was a point when I was just like so damn, not even so much depressed, but just like over it, like sad about it. Like, and I had to realize, Mo, this is not who you are. This is not your personality. You got to shake that shit and do something. Get your ass up and do something about it. Make these appointments, work out, eat better. You feel me? Now that I am doing those things, my head space is better. Even though there's a million other things going on in my life. But that part of being a better me cleared my mind to the fact that I'm able to handle all the other hard shit. Because I'm okay. I know that I'm doing what I need to do. You feel me? So stop beating yourself up. Stop digging a victim hole and crawling in it. And putting the damn dirt over your head. Stop doing that. 
Make a change. Do something different. Even if it's the slightest change in your day. When you, when you, when you start having habits and start doing routines, you get used to shit. You get out of that. You ain't just sitting around or laying around doing absolutely nothing. You're actually getting up and you have a routine you do every day. Even if it's the smallest thing, such as a face routine or a goddamn, um, you know, shit, anything, taking a walk or going to the bookstore. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't got to be every day. Maybe it's once or twice a week you do a certain thing, but it becomes a routine for you. That gets you out of that headspace where you just feeling sorry for yourself. Listen, it's a lot of big backs out there. What? You feel me? And I love all y'all. If you support me, I love you. Because you're part of the reason I'm here and why I do what I do. I just felt the need to start up a new thing. Y'all, I am going to be doing a new, uh, an, adding something else to my routine. Now, currently my routine is just eating healthy, working out whenever I fucking feel like it. And just drinking hella water and taking, you know, my, my shot. But outside of that, related to losing weight, I'm also doing other things like a face routine. Um, waking up, the first thing I do is get up and move around, clean up, whether it's cleaning up, doing a little lifting, uh, got, doing my damn infinity hoop, whatever it may be, get, just start a routine, okay? That's what I'm saying. I will be doing Big Back Motivational Mondays until my back is no longer big. <laughs> and I'm going to stick to it. Also, check my community tab. There will be a post on my community tab for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. I'm going to try to get at least, you know, something out every day. If it's a mukbang, y'all, I know a lot of y'all came here for pranks, but the pranks is not going to be happening no time soon, okay? Just know that's not happening no time soon. So it's going to be a lot of mukbangs, a lot of, like, um, individual videos. You will just see me on this channel. Okay, so if you're here for other things and you don't like the mukbangs, cool. You ain't got to watch them, but it would be nice if you did because if you're a real supporter, you're going to support whatever I post. You feel me? But outside of that, I'm going to be back doing Tell It To Mo Tuesday. We're going to do Big Back Motivational Mondays. And y'all tap in because I'm going to put up a community tab post and I'm going to put something on my Instagram for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Now, if you're new here and you have absolutely no fucking idea what Tell It To Mo Tuesday is, I'm going to tell you. You tell me something. You send me an email or a DM or, you know, a TikTok DM, wherever you want to send it, wherever you follow me at. If it's personal and you don't want nobody to know about it, send it to me personally. Do not post it under the post because then everybody's going to see it, okay? But DM me, uh, Facebook me, Mona Lisa Benson. All my stuff is in my bio, y'all. So hit me wherever you got me at and you tell me what your issue may be. But whether it's just something you want advice about or if it's like you just want my opinion about something or if you like dead ass got off, like having trouble with something, you just need some kind words, okay? That's that. That's how we're going to do it. We're doing Tell It To Mo Tuesday every week and Big Back Motivation on Mondays. Now, Big Back Motivation on Mondays ain't always going to be roses and flowers and shit. Sometimes it's going to be me crying. Sometimes it's going to be me overwhelmed. Sometimes it's going to be me, you know, eating one piece of fucking lettuce probably. Who knows? <laughs> but it's a journey. It's my journey. It's, it, it's going to be done on my time. And I'm confident enough in myself and in my mental state to tell y'all these things, okay? So if you judge mental as fuck and you just don't want to hear it, then don't watch the video, okay? Simple. But I love y'all, Mo Mafia. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, we just hit 240K followers. Y'all, I'm trying to hit 300K by the end of the year. We need to turn it up. Share the videos. Drop your favorite clip on Instagram and tag me. I will share it. Um, yeah, y'all. And just tell, tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. Tell them to subscribe. Come over here. Mo, bye. You know, 
whatever, whether we at bingo or we doing mukbangs or we collabing with somebody, is I'm always going to still rock out on this motherfucker. You feel me? But I love y'all, no mafia. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping move. Bangers! Y'all see that neck coming in? Huh? Y'all see it? I know I look crunchy. I'm about to get my, my life together. Either today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because the day gone. And I'm going to edit this and get it up for y'all. But my mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang!